Thanks very much indeed. Um, I know this is an international awareness day and there are groups of patients throughout the world, but I must say I'm extremely impressed with a number of patients who are here today. And I think uh, here in the UK, there is a really, particularly since kathy has got everything really going, a really good rapport between clinicians and patients. And I think it really is very helpful. From our point of view, we clearly have information we'd like to get out and disseminate to patient groups. But then equally, I often find that I part of a number of different patient groups with other diseases, that we begin to find out what really are your concerns, which sometimes we haven't realized in the past. And we learn what we then need to do and go forward into the future, where the gaps are and what we need to make up. Now, having said that, I was asked to talk about the genetics and familial syndromes. And I think um, a slight disclaimer, very, very few neuroendocrine tumors are familial or genetic. And clearly, with a lot of these fairly uncommon diseases, the first thing a patient will often say is, does it run in my family? What about my children? Are there any other members I should be discussing it with? In the case of most neuroendocrine tumors, particularly pancreatic islet cell tumors, the, the midgut carcinoids, a number of you may have, it is rare to find that association. Now, there are clusters in a very occasional families. And from our point of view, they're particularly interesting. But in general, it is rare for it to be familial. However, I am going to discuss some of the familial syndromes because they're useful to us because that will help teach us what the genes are that are involved and what might go wrong. So we look at these very, very rare familial <coughs> syndromes in depth so we can pick up the genes, find out if they then apply to the sporadic tumours, and in fact, as you'll see, in some cases they do. So we're learning from them rather than it being directly applicable to, I would have thought, the majority of you.